we also had another question from Dan uh, Shapiro, and he's actually an industrial design intern at Bose right now. And he asks, this is kind of interesting, he says, as freelance designers, um, essentially what he's asking is like, since you're alone, how do you validate the decisions that you're making are fully considered and that the design you've come up with is the right solution for the product and the company it's for? You know, essentially Dan's saying like, when you're sitting at home like freelancing or if you're working with a bunch of people that aren't designers, how are these how do you know that you're doing the correct design? That is a conundrum. Yeah. Because, you know, there, there's oftentimes, I, you know, I have been a freelancer in a role where I'm the only designer there. Or, right. yeah, I'm the only one specializing, specializing in industrial design. Um, and I think in that case, it just comes down to at the end of the day, do you feel satisfied in in the results and in the process? Or do you feel like you need to do more? I, I think, yeah, there's a good bit of intuition involved. I remember, you know, you said you've been the only designer in situations. I've certainly been the only designer in situations. Um, when I first started at the pet company, I was like, I was hired as the first industrial designer there. Like, mm-hmm. There was no industrial design team. There was me and the VP of design, my boss. Yeah. And which was crazy awesome because I could do whatever I wanted, but also crazy scary because I could do whatever I wanted. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, yeah, there's a lot of responsibility in that. And how do you know when the design is right? I think it takes time. I mean, obviously I've designed a lot of products and I think that some of the products weren't great. And I look back at them and I'm like, yeah, I didn't do a great job. And sometimes it was influenced by marketing or sales or whatever type of industry you're in. I mean, sometimes other factors influence the design and kind of guide that design. And it kind of helps to have those restraints sometimes. Yeah. But I I do think, I mean, in this particular experience that I'm in right now where, um, you know, the the, the company that I'm contracting for brought Nick in. You know, I, I I put in a word for Nick. They were talking about bringing in other industrial designers. And I have to say, it was incredibly helpful to bring in another designer, a fresh set of eyes. We're kind of like hamsters. You know when you get one hamster, they're really lonely? So you have to get two? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's how designers are. Yeah. And I, I, think, I think it's been very valuable to have another designer. So if you have the option to bring in another designer, even for a day to review the work that you've done to just like you know if you can convince your client like hey i would love to like bring in somebody i value their opinion right like can i bring them in for the day and and get their feedback that is a good piece of advice for sure um i think that can be very helpful because uh, you know like i feel like i like nick when he came in brought these these this fresh set of ideas and and a fresh perspective because you've been looking at up close for so long and then when someone else comes in they're like oh hey what are you doing why don't you just do this (laughs) then it's like whoa whoa i didn't even think about that yeah i love when that happens yeah because because i had at that point i had generated so many concepts and gotten to a point where i was like i'm i'm satisfied with this but then you know, I, I think it was a process of me coming from back here and getting so close to the board. Right. And then Nick came in and shattered the board. And then I realized that it was this far away. And, uh, you know, I think that as your career goes on, you might develop a better sense of intuition about these things. But I don't I don't think it's ever a bad idea to bring in another designer, a fresh set of eyes. Yeah. yeah to get sure. some feedback. Hmm. Yeah, no, that was, that was a great question, Dan. I appreciate you sending that in. Yeah. 